All right, this is something near and dear to my heart. It has always struck me. It's always gotten me in the summertime when I see, look, I love it when you have a dog and you walk them because they need exercise. They need that. If you want their other behaviors to improve, exercise them first. Mm -hmm. And then they become more obedient, okay? They need exercise. Food and water. But Mm -hmm. whenever you see a dog being walked in the middle of the day in the hot summer on the pavement, my heart just, and you know, I don't say things to people. It's no, hard not you, to. But Jody does say them in the car. In yeah. fact, it's one of those moments where it scares that you know what out of me while I'm driving because she'll like, ah! Oh, yeah. You know? Well, the thing about it, if you could walk barefoot on the pavement, yeah, it fine. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. But the deal is, a dog's paw underneath is not the same thing as our feet. It's one of the only places they can release heat. You know, the first place is their mouth with this. Mm hmm. Okay. That would be panting. Yes, I know. I just thought I'd do it. Anyway, the other, the paw is not just the bottom of their feet. It's a place where they actually release heat. So if you're just heating that up, you might cause them to overheat. And not only that, their paws can burn and peel off. You don't want to hear about that, Ah. I know. But it's so, so true. So if you, I mean, the deal is walk them in the early morning if you can or in the late evening if you can. But not in the middle of the day. If it has to be at two and three o'clock in the afternoon when it's hottest. Get them in the grass. Walk them in the grass, not the pavement. Or there's a test. Did you know that there's a test? Mm-mm. If you for the can, dog or for you? For you to test if the pavement is too hot for if, them. If an egg fries on it, don't take the dog out. Well, duh. You wouldn't want to be out there for that anyway. No, no, no. If you can take the back of your hand and put it on the pavement, and if you can leave it there, if you can't leave it there like more than five seconds, it's way too hot for them. If you leave okay. it there and leave it there and you're okay, you could walk them. Is, a, is another well, test. Why not if you just stand on it barefoot? That would be a... It's not the same thing. There's, their paws are more sensitive than your bare feet, oh. is what I'm saying. It's it's more sensitive than our but you know, foot. I remember as a kid when we went to the beach a couple of times, and if we made the mistake of not having our flip-flops and oh. trying to run across the parking lot, oh. it was, you know, you couldn't do it. It was right. just too hot. Yeah, so it's just something to remember if you didn't know about the paws being the heat release part know that and we do have uh an article posted about with some more information online for you at murphysamandjody.com